Welcome. Today we're going to go over the John Deere X380. X being the series that this particular machine is. So we've got the S series, the X series, uh, and then we have our Z lineup. But this one is going to be in the 300 category. Um, so that's going to be in that first level of the X300 machines. Um, the 80 kind of designates what kind of equipment this one, this one comes with. Um, one of the big differentiators from some of the, the, the smaller machines is going to be this engine. Uh, 23 horsepower Kawasaki engine. Um, it's a V-twin style engine. It's going to deliver a great amount of performance and efficiency. Uh, it's very, very low vibration. It's a pretty quiet machine as well. Um, and it's got more than enough power to push this 54 inch deck. So I can get an X380 with a 54 inch deck or a 48 inch deck. This particular one has that big 54 inch deck. It is a 10 gauge steel deck. It's got those nice adjustable anti-scalping wheels on it. You've got uh, grease certs right into the spindles, which is also very nice. Um, so nice, nicely equipped machine. Um, great all around kind of jack of all trades. When I'm looking at those properties that are the size, you know, about anywhere from one and a half to kind of five acres, this is where I kind of orient people because you're getting a nice big transmission transaxle with this one. You're gonna get that K58 transaxle, which is gonna give you maximum pulling capabilities. It's gonna give you great, uh, great mower speeds. So you're gonna go all the way up to 6.2 miles an hour on this one. And then I've got a nice bigger style tire in the back of this as well. Um, so this one's gonna have the 22 by 10 um, excuse me, 22 by 11 by 10, uh, and then the 15 by six by six in the fronts, um, which is also very nice. Um, very, very well balanced steering uh, on those front tires. This doesn't have any kind of power assist or hydraulic assist on that power steering, but quite honestly, once this machine is moving, it's very well balanced and it does a really nice job of steering left or right. Um, styling on here, you know, just like all the other machines kind of in this category, uh, very well styled. Uh, it's got uh, beautiful markings on the side that kind of line it up with the rest of the John Deere lineup and some of our bigger style tractors that we're, you know, we're famous for. Um, got a nice wide open grill for maximum airflow in there. Uh, got a nice integrated bumper on the front of this that I can actually add kind of brush guards or bigger style bumpers on the front if I wanted to. Um, I can also add weights to the front of this machine if I needed it. So if I was doing some, some things where I wanted some extra traction, I have the ability to add the weights with weight kits and whatnot. Uh, and that mounts right to that wonderful welded steel, uh, very hardy frame. Um, it's got a nice frame on this particular one. Uh, and that's gonna help kind of this overall package. And it's gonna give you that three year, excuse me, that four year, uh, 300 hour warranty um, that you know, John Deere kind of puts on these products to stand behind them. It's a great, great, great warranty. Um, just like all the other machines in this lineup, we're gonna have some twin touch pedals. Uh, so easy automotive style. Um, I have the ability to just press the forward pedal, go forward, the reverse pedal to go reverse. I've got a park brake right on the right hand side, which is nice. On my left side, on my foot pedal, I've got the ability to raise and lower the deck. Um, so all I have to do is press down on that pedal and that will raise up the deck and then I can lock it in with this um, transport mode lock up here. And then I can go ahead and I can select different um, heights. So say I wanted to go to three inches, I select three inches, I depress that button while I'm depressing the pedal and that will allow it to drop down into place and now I'm mowing it three inches. Um, so very easy to operate. If I wanted to change that, I can do that on the fly. I just press down on the mower lift, two and a half inches and right back down to two and a half inches. So I've dropped the deck just a couple of, um, just very simply like that and then I can just lock it right back up into transport mode. The controls up here are very well laid out. They're very simplistic in design. I've got a wonderful digital instrument cluster that's gonna give me the telemetry like uh, RPMs, uh, voltage, your fuel gauge, which is integrated right up there. Hour meter is front and center so I can maintain uh, this machine. It'll, it'll allow me to keep, uh, keep um, track of all the maintenance intervals on there. Um, I've got an ignition up here on the, on the right hand side. 
just like any other key, I turn it all the way over to the side. It starts the machine, goes back to uh, the operating function. If I click one back, it'll, it'll click it back into the, uh, the mode where I have the lights on. So if I'm doing some uh, operations, you know, kind of at dusk or at night, uh, I have a little bit more visibility, which is nice. Um, electronic PTO engagement, so that button will engage the um, the blades on the mower deck. Um, got cruise control, and then of course I talked about the park brake already, but that's right here on that right hand side. Moving over to my left side, I've got throttle controls, moving up the throttle, uh, up into rabbit mode, that gives you more throttle, and dialing it back into turtle mode, that gives you less throttle. And then right next to it, I've got a spring loaded choke lever, so if I'm doing cold weather operations, or I haven't started the machine in a while, I pop up that choke. That will allow me to start that machine because it is a carbureted engine. Um, I have a mow in reverse button. So all I have to do to mow in reverse is press this button and then I can depress my rear, um, my, my reverse pedal um, and that will allow the blades to continue going. So it gives you something to physically or to, to mentally think about before I actually go in reverse um, as in, in the name of safety. And then of course, I've got my mower con uh, lift controls that we talked about um, right over this side. Um, let's talk about maintenance on this particular one. So easy to get into the hood. Um, and then when I pull that hood up, I've got great exposure to the engine uh, bay, very easy to get into everything. So I've got my air cleaner that's really easy to simple to get into. Uh, also is uh, on and off with a thumb screw, so it's very easy to replace. Um, I'm checking my oil, which I recommend doing before every time we use the machine um, right there. And this is also the fill tube as well. Um, right down below that, we've got our oil filter and our drain tube, which is easy to access um, and very convenient to use. Uh, I've got a fuel filter that's located between the battery and the engine, very nice and easy to get access to as well. And then my battery is housed right back uh, behind the engine. So all those uh, easy maintenance points um, are just easy to reach, easy to maintain. And then I've got a placard on the top of the hood that will allow me to kind of keep track of those service intervals. So it kind of lays it out. Um, all the, all, uh, the book is also going to include all of those service intervals as well. So that's really nice. Let's talk about the seat. Got a nice, wonderful cut and sew high back seat um, that's got the John Deere logo embroidered into it. Uh, very, very nice seat, very comfortable. It's got well, uh, very well bolstered. So it keeps you kind of in the seat. So if I'm kind of going on, un, uh, going over uneven terrain, it helps kind of stick me in that seat. Uh, really, really nice upgrade uh, that they've done in the, in the last couple of years on these seats. Additionally, I have adjustable springs underneath the, uh, the seat. So like allow me to make the uh, fine tune adjustments uh, for the different riders that are, might be in my family. Uh, I've got a deck leveling kit underneath, um, which obviously everything is going to be described on how to level the deck in the book. Um, your deck is going to come leveled from us at Pape. Our, that's part of our pre-delivery inspection process. Um, but if you had to, just know that you have the tools to do that kind of right on the back of the machine, which is nice. Um, fuel. So uh, a lot of the brands out there are not doing this, but this has got a really nice wide opening. So it's easy to fill uh, the fuel in this. I've got a nice big 3.3 gallon fuel tank. Um, so I can go longer between intervals and keep me out in the field mowing for longer um, with that nice big tank. Um, the back end is really easy uh, to, to hook up a trailer because I've got an integrated tra trailer hitch receiver right there. Um, and then I've got a, the ability to disengage the hydrostatic transmission, that K58 transmission uh, in the back, um, which is really nice as well. Uh, the deck has some really nice features in it as well. So it's got a very, very wide opening um, that will allow the grass to disperse out. So that 23 horsepower engine with all that power and that nice big wide opening will disperse the grass very evenly, giving you wonderful cut qualities um, and great grass dispersion. So sometimes, you know, if you don't want a bag or you don't want to uh, mulch your material, um, it's nice just to be able to kind of lay it down on the ground very nice and even and spread out and it's really nice. Um, it does a good job just by itself. Uh, I have great uh, control with these gauge wheels so I can raise those uh, up and down very simply um, with these J levers. 
Um, very, very easy to do. I've got some integrated protection on the sides, so some extra reinforcement on this 10 gauge steel deck um, that's just gonna add to the longevity um, of this particular machine. So uh, I've got a nice washout port, just like all my other uh, John Deere's kind of in this category. I've got a great washout port. This port part goes onto your hose bib. Um, I've got to go ahead and turn my hose bib on, click that back on, turn my blades on, run it for about 60 seconds. That'll get a nice uh, washout underneath the deck. Um, I always recommend water and steel probably don't mix very well, so try to dry that off as much as possible. I use a leaf blower. Um, you know, Pape Machiner makes it easy. We sell leaf blowers as well, so if you need one of those, we can hook you up. But leaf blower, uh, trying to get all that water off the deck uh, as much as possible, um, just gonna add to the longevity of that deck. Um, overall, the X380, you know, great machine, oriented at, at a lot of different customers. You know, just one of those tried and true machines that are just a great feature-rich uh, product that doesn't over, it's not overkill, right? It's, it's just got all of the things that you need, um, speed, power, control, um, ease of use, ease of maintenance, uh, just a great, great product uh, in the John Deere lineup. If you've got any questions for us, please feel free to ask. We'd love to answer them for you, thanks. Hi, my name is Jason Hughes. I'm a territory manager out of Eugene, Oregon. I'm also a large property owner and own a lot of the equipment that you see featured in these videos. I hope you find this content helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.